To set up the Toughtech F340E fireproofing pump, make sure the power is off. Plug in sprayer to a compatible voltage source. Ensure you have a grounded connection. Make sure the packing nut is half full of throat seal liquid, or TSL. Connect air supply to applicator. Attach hose to applicator fluid inlet and pump fluid outlet. Then secure straps around the cam lock fitting. Flush the system with water before using. Mix the material per manufacturer's instructions. Turn the flow adjustment knob counterclockwise until it stops. Remove tip from applicator if installed. Fill the clean hopper with material to be sprayed. Place hose outlet in a waste container. Turn the power switch on and three-way switch to spray. Turn the flow adjustment knob up slowly to increase pressure until water is purged out and a steady stream of material flows from applicator. To stop dispensing, turn adjustment knob down until it stops. Install a tip onto applicator. The system is now primed and ready to spray. Turn on atomizing air and adjust the air needle valve on the applicator. Turn the power switch to on. Turn flow adjustment knob until desired flow is reached. Start by relieving pressure using the following steps. Turn the flow adjustment knob counterclockwise until it stops. Turn the power switch off. Remove the applicator tip and tip retainer. If you suspect the applicator tip or hose is completely clogged, or that pressure has not been fully relieved after following the previous steps, slowly open the fluid drain purge valve at the pump outlet and drain material into a waste pail. Close after pressure is relieved. Place applicator outlet in a waste container. Turn power switch on. Turn adjustment knob up slowly to increase pressure until a steady stream flows from applicator. When the material level in the hopper is within a few inches of the material inlet at the bottom, Scrape the material down the sides of the hopper. Fill the hopper with water as the material runs out and continue dispensing. Keep the hopper filled with water while dispensing. When water begins to exit the applicator outlet, turn the power switch to off. Clean out any remaining material in the hopper with water. Turn the power switch to on and open the fluid drain purge valve to flush out any material. Once the water appears clean, close the fluid drain purge valve. Turn the power switch to off. Flush out the remaining material with a hose cleanout ball. Remove the applicator from the end of the hose. The cleanout balls must be wetted down before inserting. Remove smaller diameter whip hose. Remove the hose from the pump outlet and place a larger cleanout ball within the hose inlet. Reattach the hose to the pump outlet and turn the power switch to on to resume flushing the hose. The hose cleanout ball will be pushed out of the hose after a minute or two. Once the ball is pushed through the hose, turn the motor power switch to off. Place smaller cleanout ball in smaller diameter hose and reattach. Turn the power switch to on to resume flushing the hose. Once the ball is pushed through the hose, turn the motor power switch to off. Repeat the entire process until clean water flows from the hose outlet. Remove hopper and drain remaining water from pump. Reattach pump to hopper. Dispose of all waste material in accordance with local rules and regulations. See manufacturer's safety data sheet for additional information.